Hey guys, what I got going on this morning is uh, my next project is to build a box at the end of the bed and in that box it'll uh, on the upper portion will be the refrigerator so I'm uh, I think 21 inches 21 and a half inches across now underneath it what I'm doing is uh, as you guys already know uh, one of the uh, things that people do is uh, buy these uh, composting toilets uh, nature's head and uh, ah, there's another one anyway very expensive, they're a major investment. And so what I have done is, uh, here is a company, killedwick.com, and uh, I believe they're out of Germany. I had to order this out of Europe, but it's a composting toilet urine diverter, and this is it right here, okay? Now this particular one I ordered in black, I figured it would be a little cleaner looking, and uh, such but uh, anyway it has a certain profile and uh, considerations and I believe that uh, I spent around 200 plus it sounds like a lot of money but uh, when you offset that uh, with the cost of uh, the nature's head and the airhead that's the other one uh, you're probably a thousand dollars cheaper and uh, it allows you to create a profile that's a little uh, lower and uh, more to suit your build. Um, now, what I have done is I have purchased uh, drawer slides because the area that I'm putting it in is 24 inches deep. Uh, these are 400 pound drawer slides. And so that I know what I'm doing uh, is I've created a story stick. Now, this stick has all the information of uh, my floor, uh, uh, the thickness of the base, all that type of thing. So I don't have to be guessing. I've already laid it out uh, 17 inches from the floor for the uh, top of the toilet, uh, taking into consideration the, uh, the fiberglass thickness of the base, toilet seat, and so on. I, I can go up and actually uh, uh, design this so that uh, it fits my need. Um, yeah, in a way, uh, very handy. Uh, it, it, there's a lot to think about, so uh, it actually lets you lay it out and you're not uh, going, oh damn, I, add, I added uh, thickness, or I didn't add the thickness of the materials that I'm using, and now the, uh, you know, everything falls out, eh? And so anyway, uh, I highly recommend uh, using this type of procedure if you're ever wondering or you want to just keep track. It's like a, a notebook, and uh, the, the nice thing is you can go and set it up where you are, just to uh, give yourself reference points. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I'll uh, obviously give you an update because uh, uh, when this goes in, uh, it's gonna go in sideways so that when, it's, when it pulls out, uh, uh, you can use it. And uh, now on the back side, uh, I don't know how to show this. Uh, yeah, on the back side here, uh, yeah, it pulls out this way. Yeah, so on this side, I'm now gonna have to create a system with a computer fan and using a four inch to uh, one and a half uh, uh, ABS uh, reducer and uh, then uh, find a place to uh, plumb it beneath the floor so that it's constantly venting. So when you pull it out, uh, yeah, when you pull it out, it detaches from it. It'll, it'll be uh, encompassed in foam. And when you push it back in, it is now giving you a positive airflow beneath the van, which gets rid of uh, any odors. and. Um, I know in the in the shop here, my brother has one. Uh, he bought it, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, no smell. Yeah, you, you it, it's freakishly effect, effective. Uh, like you go, why isn't that smelling? You know. But anyway, uh, that's what I'm into now. And uh, as I go, and like I say, it's all dictated by the fridge that's above it, uh, near near the ceiling. I've got a um, a Dometic fridge, and uh, so anyway, that's today's project. Let the games begin. And here we are back in the uh, in the shop, and uh, what I'm doing today is uh, just an extension of uh, the prep work for the uh, composting toilet. And uh, anyway, uh, it's resulted in uh, this. 
Hello, how are you doing? Anyway, yeah, I look, I look like I belong in Siouxland or something. But anyway, I'll show you how this works. So this uh, four inch to one and a half reducer, and then I've got it all twisted and turned, and uh, it's so that I can hit that one sweet spot in between frame members of the, uh, of the bottom of the van and uh, stay out of the way of um, well, the walls of the cabinet that I'm putting in. Anyway, it might get dark here for a second. Uh, just going into uh, where I'm working. Hopefully this will uh, show. What I've done is I've cut a hole in the floor and you see those lines here. Uh, this is where uh, the outside wall is going to go. And so as you can see, uh, yeah, that, that's the uh, one wall for the cabinet. Uh, as you can see, I don't have a heck of a lot of room here. So I've had to really, uh, you know, tuck this in because uh, otherwise it's underneath, it's underneath the toilet, which is no good. Or it is... Uh, it's going to be hitting something from underneath. So, what I've done is I have created this little marvelous thing. I put it in here and simply turn it up against the wall. Oh, I lift it up a little here. Okay, so there it is in its position. Then I've made this, it'll hold it. Oh, maybe the wrong way. This will hold this in place. And it's set up to go to the, the back of this to give me as much room in the front. I still have to put the computer fan in here, which I'll show later uh, after I've gotten it. And uh, the other thing is, is that this uh, has set the depth so that uh, that wall will uh, touch on here. Eh? So it, it kind of uh, acts as two things. I'll drop this area in here and make it so that it screws into the top of this because I want this to be lower than the actual top of the uh, the box for the uh, composting toilet so that uh, I, I can still use that room behind it but uh, and I'll have uh, something on here and foam so that it compresses when the box is pushed back in. Hi guys, okay, so here's the update on this toilet. Uh, I'll show you uh, what the final product looked like and uh, how we use it and uh, any comments about, uh, you know, how we feel it uh, actually ended uh, up working. So anyway, let's go inside and we'll have a little look. Okay, as you know, the toilet is down at the bottom here. So why don't we uh, pull it out and we will get at her and uh, show you what's going on here. Okay guys, now that the toilet is pulled out, the first thing that I want to uh, kind of show you is that uh, at the front of the box, you can see underneath the box there's a, a block of wood. Now, even though these are 400 pound hinges, um, I, I didn't want this to be moving around. So I, I created a situation here where uh, th those things are just a little bit above the floor. In fact, uh, when I pull it out, uh, I, I kind of lift on the handle a little wee bit. And then when it's fully extended and I, uh, I, I release the box, uh, it, it touches the floor and the, uh, the hinge or not the hinge, the drawer slide isn't uh, taking all the load. Uh, it, it's actually being supported at the front. So anyway, uh, that's uh, in the front area here. I'll give you a little bit of a close up if I can. And it would be right down in this area. So anyway, there's one on either side. And actually, uh, uh, when I did this, uh, they, they weren't both equal. And uh, I think one is a little bit thinner. But anyway, it's the same. Uh, uh, idea is just to stop the weight from being uh, totally on the uh, the hinge or I keep saying hinges on, on the drawer slide so anyway this is how it turned out right here as you can see there's the toilet and uh, the top uh, obviously yes uh, it's uh, 
you know, your basic toilet type of thing. Lifts up, and then the whole thing, yeah, when I'm um, in a position of uh, pulling it out, I actually just, just kind of hook my hands on there, and I just lift it up ever so slightly so it doesn't rub on the floor, but when I uh, release it, everything is solid on the floor. So anyway, this opens up. Okay, and there's the Kildwick, like I said before. And if you can see, this is what I have. I have a Home Depot uh, bucket, which fits in this area here. This goes into the bucket, and then the uh, urine diverter goes into, it's a laundry detergent bottle. So, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, my thoughts on this are that as you can see, there's two boards in there. I'm going to take those out and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a second bucket in there uh, put a bucket in a bucket because what that allows you to do uh, with the lid is if you're boondocking for a longer period of time I'll take I'll separate the buckets and I can put one outside in a in an area that uh, uh, as we're using this I can be taking the bags tying them up and throwing them in the secondary bucket until we can get to an area where um, uh, it can be emptied and it just stops anything from getting into it and uh, maybe uh, controls the orders, odors outside a little bit but uh, yeah I'm gonna double bucket this and this might be an idea that you want to incorporate also it just gives you a, a place to store stuff if you're not going to be emptying it on a regular basis. Now having said that what you can also do with this and uh, we've done is that bag uh, you can take the bag out and uh, tie it up and just throw it back in there. So you could get uh, maybe a couple days before you have to actually take both bags out uh, and store them uh, or dispose of them, do whatever you have to do. So um, the other thing that we do is, I'll put this over here, this is what we're using. These two products right here. And it's Meyer's uh, clean day and in the uh, urine diverting bottle uh, after we empty it uh, we will give it a little spray maybe with that and uh, uh, you know it just helps to control odors and the other issue is uh, the bags we use a, a compost bag to uh, uh, line the uh, pail with so anyway uh, I'll take the I'll take the bucket out and I'll show you how it's set up in the back Okay, guys, uh, yeah, what I've done here is um, uh, I've got the box here, and as you can see, the box that uh, everything goes into, I've taken uh, the bottles and the pail out, and you can see there's a hole in the back of this. And what that is for is, if you can see here, is it goes and it matches up with the back of the, uh, the van, and there's a three inch computer fan in there. And uh, anyway, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll show it to you here a little closer. There it is there, and uh, yeah, I was going to uh, put foam around this to create a positive, uh, well, uh, just kind of a seal, and uh, it, it hasn't been necessary. I haven't found that there's any um, problem with uh, smells in the van. Uh, you have to be smart about it, though. Uh, you know, you can't, uh, uh, you know, create a negative air pressure and be sucking it in because it's not a big fan But it's enough to uh, keep things going in the right direction. So anyway, uh, I'll put you on a tripod and I'll uh, try to show you how it works here. So uh, just uh, hang on <laughs> Okay <laughs> This is actually funny. You should see me trying to do this. I've got you in the toilet. I got the lid up so I can talk to you because the microphone's on the uh, on the pocket, and uh, I've got you in the in the box. Uh, and anyway, okay, I'll show you how it works here. Hopefully.
how it works. It uh, just pushes back and goes around that uh, computer fan. Here, I'll get you out of the toilet. <laughs> there you go. You were in there. <laughs> okay. So anyway, boy, that was fun. Uh, yeah, okay. So anyway, where these uh, little fans are concerned, here's, here's a little uh, tip for you. Uh, how I finally come across them was that uh, I went to a, a computer store that uh, just a mom and pop type of thing where they uh, do uh, computers and they, they sell upgraded computers. What typically happens is these uh, computer cases that they get in come with a uh, uh, a three inch fan and of course kids want to be doing the gaming, well, not just kids I guess, anybody, and they have to upgrade the fans. So in my case, uh, I went in, uh, I found these little three inch fans and oh yeah, yeah, they had a lot of them. They wouldn't give me a warranty on them obviously because they just taken them out of uh, cases, but uh, I got them for $2 a piece. So I bought three of them because you never know if they're gonna fail. Now in my case, uh, we did this in October. This is now uh, the 1st of July. It's never stopped running and it's been running all through the winter and uh, never had a problem with it. So. That's an idea that uh, you might want to uh, consider. Uh, these small fans, they hook right to the, uh, the 12 volt and uh, they work. Now, uh, you might want to check the, uh, the electrical side of it uh, for compatibility because you might burn it out. You, don't, you just don't, never know, eh? Because sometimes these things have to go to a motherboard, but in this case, these little three inch fans, uh, $2 a piece, so for $6, I got three fans and I've got two spares, so. Anyway, hopefully this helped. Uh, yeah, there, there's the, the unit I, I, I still have the, the light inside there that uh, I was using, but anyway, and little things to prop it all up. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope that uh, kind of uh, gives you uh, a basis for uh, how this was done. Uh, we like it. It's very convenient, and uh, good luck with uh, your project. Um, uh, it, it's an interesting uh, uh, little project because... Uh, certain considerations and how it's going to work and uh, and I think the biggest thing is uh, lining up the bottles to make sure they fit and uh, like I said if you're able to uh, consider the two bottle idea or two pail idea these are uh, uh, yeah just a just a Home Depot pail that's all they are and I'm gonna get another one and uh, like I say put two of them together fit them in there and I have a spare for uh, doing outside storage so anyway take care guys and uh, Good luck on your project.